So at the end of part one, we basically left off with a useless uh, ball class. And we're going to fix that by uh, making it, you know, adding functionality to it, more specifically the drawing function. So we first must add a new texture to our content before we were able to actually draw that uh, image. So we'll right click content, add folder call it images and then right click the images folder and click add existing item uh, navigate somewhere with like I just have a ball dot uh, PNG and uh, the image is basically uh, a white square kind of bland but it'll it'll work so back to our ball class we're going to add a new public void called draw and to do the drawing we're actually going to pass in a sprite batch and we'll just name it sprite batch and before we actually do the drawing code we need to uh, initiate the drawing so sprite batch dot begin and now uh, I guess we'll just put the ending right here and the code goes in between so let's actually just do it right now then sprite batch that draw the texture which we have already and then as a rectangle we'll just need the posi the position and then the textures width and height will already you know it'll draw to that size so we don't need to specify uh the height and width so position and color dot white let me explain. Um, basically, there's a we can add a tint to the picture to the texture that we're drawing. And uh, if we don't want a tint, we just use uh, white. So yeah, that's basically done. So we'll go back to our main class down to our drawing or sorry no we'll have to declare the ball first so we'll go ball we'll call it game ball that's just uh, with the other fields here and then we'll have to initialize it so I guess we'll go to initialize uh, game ball is equal to new ball uh, we'll name it I'm sorry we have to pass in a texture so to load something from the content we'll have to go to this dot content load we're loading a texture 2d and then we have to uh, pass in the asset name which default by default is the name of the uh, file without any extensions so we'll use ball because I have it ball dot png uh, the new a new vector We'll place it at a hundred and a hundred. Actually, we'll just um, for velocity. We'll uh, set it to zero. The stage width. We use graphics. Preferred. It's actually the preferred back buffer width, which is the application's width. And then for the height. it would be graphics dot preferred back bu buffer height and that's it for that so it's initialized and now we're just going to go to our draw function and uh... draw the ball and then pass in the sprite batch obviously and that's it it should draw Uh oh, sorry. I forgot that we have the image within a image images uh folder. So we'll have to do images slash ball. So within the images folder, the ball dot png. 
and there it is. Uh, nothing really happens. There's no updating. So that's the end of part two. See you later.